Um, so both directions, north and south, are partially shut down. As you can see here on the northbound, there was an 18-wheeler that was actually supposed to be carrying um, hazmat material. That's why the Lafayette Fire Department's out here with their hazmat truck. And so they have a semi-truck that got jackknifed and overturned. So therefore, it looks like they are shutting down the northbound I-49 right now. Or, well, let's see, one lane is apparently remaining open as they are letting traffic through. Um, but you can see people are starting to exit to come off on Glorious, which road over here where I'm at. Um, I did, fortunately, myself take the back roads to get over here. But I-49 does appear to be backed up by at least two miles at this moment. So if you are headed northbound, go on a separate, um, separate way. Avoid I-49 at all costs. Um, again, the southbound's actually backed up too now, as they are also shutting down a lane to get the jackknife truck off this road and help clean up this hazmat material. Um, but there was also a separate wreck on the south side, or the southbound, and that was a motorcycle wreck, but it did appear that that was kind of cleaned up. So again, so they are currently um, partially closing off the northbound, as you can see. That is how slow let me um sorry let me back up here so yeah so you can see how slow it's kind of going through as they're gonna start trying to get this semi truck out of the way here i mean that's pretty slow guys so yeah and like i said the traffic is backed up on i-49 northbound at least two miles as of right now but you can see all the traffic kind of coming off over there so yeah and i'm right off the exit exit by the Lowe's and the ranch outlet here in Karen Crow so yeah so if you need to head on I-49 northbound definitely don't definitely find a new alternative route because that is what you're looking at and you will be sitting there for a good while as like I said all it appears only one lane is open so I'm not really sure about the condition currently of the trucker or of that status of cleaning up the truck and the hazmat material, but again, this is just what the highway looks like. So you got Karen Crow and Lafayette out here working the scene. Lafayette's up the road trying to, you know, detour the traffic off the road. So. Um, so again, so this is the northbound side, and I'm just going to kind of flash over here to the southbound side, which isn't as bad, but you can see it's pretty, it's moving pretty slow. So if you need to take I-49, I guess don't, because you're going to be in this. So, and again, if you're just now clicking in, um, there was an 18-wheeler here on the northbound of I-49 outside of Karen Crow that jackknifed and turned over. It is said to have been carrying hazmat material. So you can see Lafayette's out here trying to clean that up. Um, again, there's only one lane open on northbound to clean up the semi-truck. You can see they're trying to remove it. Um, the chief did say that they were gonna shut down the highway. I don't know when that's expected to happen, but as you can see, they do have it partially shut down as they are trying to clean up the scene. So, yeah, you can definitely tell that traffic is backing up pretty heavily at this moment. So. Well guys, I'll be out here for a good minute, so stay tuned because I'll keep you updated about you know how the traffic's gonna do and I'll keep you updated when they actually get the truck removed. So stay tuned and I'll bring you guys more updates. Thanks for watching.